Odd games come and go, but the really strange ones stay with us. <laughs> Hey there, internet! My friends call me Jay. Pony Island as a game has surprisingly little to do with ponies. It's actually a puzzle endless runner mashup, which is already an oddity in itself right there. Throw in the plot of a trapped soul bound by the devil to play a very bad endless runner forever, and you start to understand just how out of place Pony Island is. You solve some puzzles and are forced to play PonyIsland.exe over and over again, while ideally trying to free your soul or whatever. And this is where I get confused. I can't tell how clever Pony Island actually is. Some parts of it are just a touch short of brilliant. I mean, some really clever programming led to these puzzles. Feels sort of like solving a moving maze. And the narrative has a few really heavy hitters that shatter the fourth wall in some ways that genuinely have me questioning my understanding of what games were allowed to do. But then there is the runner part, which is uncharacteristically bland, painfully so. Outside of a neat boss fight and an optional choice to not murder Jesus, the runner parts almost had me shutting down the game and cancelling this episode. But isn't that intentional? Certainly at the start it is. It's a game within a game made by the devil himself to torture souls. Of course it sucks. The art, the design, the feel of those levels does certainly add to the theme of the game, to be sure. I just find it odd. The Runner is all about this additive experience, something new always being layered onto that basic little run you start the game in, with long wing-aided jumps or lasers or negative untouchable space. The Runner portions never really grow too complex, but it does rather snowball over the course of the game into a little more than just run plus jump. But it never loses those bits that made it the devil's game, that make it bad. Pony Island is quick and clever. You take the game at a solid sprinter's pace, and even when a stubborn puzzle brings you to a crashing stop, once you work out the answer, plugging in the solution and getting back into that quick tempo is a process of seconds, except for in the runner. Each start of your life during PonyIsland.exe is a series of dead seconds, and where messing up a puzzle is a few clicks away from where you messed up, during the runner portions you can get thrown back a few minutes at a time, forced to play through the least exciting parts of the game again and again always stuck waiting at the start of each life. It's such a painful contrast to the rest of the game. It's bad design. But it's intentional, right? So I'm confused on how to feel about it. Half the game's length is that damned runner, and damned is right since the devil made it. Is an artistic choice that makes a game worse okay? I really don't know. Do I applaud Daniel Mullins for making me question that? I think I do. Gripes of respawn times can't possibly win out over the psychological story and puzzles that make Pony Island such a weird one. You certainly need to like games to love Pony Island, but it's on Steam and it's super affordable. Hey again, internet! Thanks for watching! Here's another video you might have missed, and you should totally come hang out with us on Twitch sometime, or Tumblr, or Twitter. Choose your poison.